All right, everyone, there are three ways to enter Wind Palace. There is the north entrance, there is the south entrance, and then there is the gondola, which we are in right now. So, as you can see, we're about to take off in the gondola, all right, <laughs> and we got the gondola all to ourselves today. We can see the, the uh, dragon here as we come up to one of the turns. Now, for some of you guys that don't know, I came out to Wind Palace in 2015 to open it as the hotel controller. Now, believe it or not, when, you, when we first opened Wind Palace, it used to cost a hundred Hong Kong dollars to ride this gondola. That's about $12.50 just to ride it around. Now these days it's free. Anybody can get on the gondola at any time. It's open mostly during the day, obviously. Oh, we're coming up. We're coming up to the, uh, the dragon here. Now there's a rumor that these dragons were actually supposed to breathe fire. I don't know how true that is because that never actually came to fruition. But one thing I will tell you is that when we were opening, they, the lions had a red fold around their eyes. This was supposed to be for good luck. And uh, once we opened the properties, that bandage, that red bandage came off. Here's a great view. I'm going to stand up here. It's just barely big enough for me to stand up. You can see the uh, a great view of the lake. Now, if you're lucky enough, you're able to um, be on the gondolas while the performance lake is actually having one of their choreographed songs. And that's actually pretty special. I usually tell people it's much nicer at night because of the lights of the casinos and the lake and of the wind palace. Okay, so now we're going around another one of these <laughs> oh, all right. It's always a bit of fun when we go around those things. So obviously from here, you got a great view of the City of Dreams, which is across from us, and then the MGM over there. I'm not sure if you guys are going to be able to see everything because of the glare. But so let me show you over here where I hope there's less glare. Here, we've got the uh, pool for the casino. It, uh, it's overseen by the tower here. It's an unbelievable pool. It's actually a little bit rather small for the size of a casino that, that the Wind Palace, um, well, the size of the hotel that the Wind Palace has, but it's still a beautiful uh, pool nonetheless. The way that they designed it, they have it laid out. You have the main body of the pool out there, and then here you've got um, the jacuzzi or hot tub, surrounded by cabanas. You guys can see, maybe there's a better view over here. So we're coming up to the uh, end here of the ride. The gondola is broken up into two sections. You got the station, which we got in at over there, and you got the, which leads into the hotel. And then if you wanna leave the hotel, you can get back on it here and ride it back onto the street. So before, when we did open, there used to be a ticket and that ticket would get punched for one way. Then you could come to the hotel and as you were leaving, they would punch the other half of the ticket. So a little bit of a cumbersome system. But as I said, 
after a while, it just became a free attraction. So people could come into the casino anytime they wanted. All right. Here are the rest of the gondolas right here. And one of the things that I recently found opened up, which was not open for a really long time, is the observation deck where you can actually see the pool and the gondolas coming in from this level. This was closed off for a long time. Let's see if it's open now. All right, now we're coming into the wind here. So here, I don't think most people know about this because um, it's sort of a door that feels like it doesn't lead anywhere, but obviously I know all about this area. So there's the wind, wind palace there. You can see the pool area. And then this is a great view of the lake if you get a chance here. We're getting a great sunset today. There is the MGM. Back there is more uh, the sands, City of Dream. Most of the gondolas are empty today. If you watch my uh, August update video, you'll understand why. So this is kind of an interesting little spot. Why don't we keep going so I can show you guys the inside of the wind. I don't know if I have that much time to show you all of it, but I'm gonna show you some interesting parts of it, okay? Now, I like these escalators. Why? Because You'll see once we get on them. Is this a long escalator or what? It just keeps going forever. <laughs> it's also very nicely decorated here with these flowers. And then you've got the mirrors off to the side here. All right, everyone. So now we are inside of the Wind Palace. Why don't you let me give you a quick tour of what they have going on inside of here. So let me show you what they have here in the actual reception area of the south entrance. This is where the uh, front desk is and the VIP entrance would be located. All right, so as you can see, we are in this quite large area. And what they have in here that's really fun and interesting is this uh, Preston Bailey uh, floral arrangement. Now, what's really interesting about this is that they have several of these a year. I wanna say they change them out every three months. This one is a uh, Ferris wheel. That's quite nice. As you can see, it's completely decorated by flowers. Most of them are uh, silk flowers and they will get reused in the other arrangements or they'll get saved until this arrangement is used again. So let me take you now, this is the uh, south entrance. Let me take you to the north entrance where they have a different arrangement of, uh, of this sort of uh, attraction that they have here at Wind Palace. You know, one of the things that a lot of people don't notice is down here on the floor, you can see these uh, gold tiles. These are actually made out of real gold leaf and they need to be replaced fairly often, to be honest, because uh, you know they get worn out as people um, walk over them or they have their luggage. So I remember that being sort of an interesting thing. And there's a lot of it around the property. You can see here, we're coming up to these uh, Chinese floral vases and there's a lot more of this gold tile surrounding it. These are quite nice actually. So I wanna show you guys this uh, giant vase here. This has been here since the opening. So it's really interesting, it looks like a giant vase that uh, has like people on it and then maybe they're... And what's interesting about this vase is that it looks like it's made up of several pieces, not just one. So there's these little bits of artwork that you'll find all throughout the property. And actually, there's something called Art Macau that's going on. And uh, I'll, I'll talk to you guys about that when, when we get closer to it. All right, well, let's uh, continue here. As you can see, this is sort of the, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna call it the Rodeo Drive. 
You got the Louis Vuitton here. You got the Hermes, Van Cleef and Arpels, Gucci, Graf down the road. So, I mean, this is sort of pretty much the prime of prime real estate when it comes to high-end uh, retail. And um, this is pretty cool. There's this like, oh, like a high heel here, <laughs> which has been here since the opening as well. I remember this very clearly. So who made this? Uh, high heel by Chanel X. Mm -hmm. By Liao Yibai, born 1971. Stainless steel, huh? Oh, look at that. That's pretty cool. All right, so we're coming up here at the carousel. This is now the north entrance. The lobbies are both the same, but guests can enter through the north or the south into Wind Palace if they're gonna be staying at the hotel. So again, you're greeted by this uh, motorized uh, art decorated with these silk flowers. In this case, we have the carousel of all of these, um, what seems to be horses. And then this one looks like, like I mean, almost like a mermaid style horse, right? <laughs> but I mean, the amount of work, the scale of this is really unbelievable. They um, take this down, this actually opens into the basement and you can actually see when they're working on it. Um, they have a variety of different um, attractions because these get rotated out, like I said. Other times they have a jack-in-the-box, they have, um, what are the other things that they have? They have um, like the hot air balloons made out of the flowers. That's really interesting. And then they have another one where it's these monkeys that are balancing on uh, like a teeter-totter. So that makes it very cool also. Some things have changed. A lot of the retail has changed from when we opened five uh, years ago. So that was August 2016. But what hasn't changed is the SW. This is the steakhouse here at Wind Palace. It is amazing. It is phenomenal. It is uh, an un probably the most unbelievable restaurant that I have ever eaten at. Inside, besides the fact that it is beautifully decorated and the bar is amazing, they have a show that shows up every 30 minutes. Hey guys, how are you? Good to see you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Security guards. Uh, they still remember me, which is a, a nice feeling. Here we are now in, at Sichuan Moon. This is a, uh, a more of a regional restaurant and it really seems to be only be open for um, VIPs and uh, marketing guests. So, oh, Mizumi for sure. This place is unbelievable. This is sushi, um, Japanese, a lot of sushi. You have the teppanyaki here in the front. And you got this beautiful tree with what I'm pretty sure is um, uh, a lot of this material came directly from Japan. 
I'm assuming that that rock itself came from Japan. And then right next to Mizumi, we have Hanami ramen. The ramen here is unbelievable. It is super delicious, super yummy. And then here is what I was telling you guys. This is not Art Macau. This is the Wynn Art Gallery. But this actually, there's a lot of the art in here comes from uh, the organization called LACMA. And I can't remember the exact um, uh, wording for the acronym. It's uh, the Los, Los Angeles uh, uh, Metropolitan Arts, I think. Because I forget what the uh, C uh, in it means. But uh, anyways, some artwork in there. And let me show you guys a little bit of what that artwork, a lot of porcelain, a lot of very unique and Chinese uh, style uh, artwork that was very nice and very unique and very interesting. And then here we're coming up on sweets. Well, this is like a um, like ice creams and cakes and uh, uh, what else do they have? They have like donuts and things like this. This is like a nice place to get away and have something fun. And then Pronto here, this is the pizza. This used to be, uh, this used to started off actually as a Starbucks and was later converted into a pizza place. Hi, how are you? Yeah. What are you making in there? What kind of pizza you have in there today? Oh, look at that. So that was Pronto, the pizza place. Very delicious pizza, salads, a variety of different things. And now we're coming into the, up to the east entrance of Wind Palace. So this is brand new, I had not seen this. Now they have these terracotta, painted terracotta statues. Um, and, uh, but I don't think they're the actual, I don't want, I want to say they're not the actual terracotta, the same ones that you have uh, in one of the provinces in China. These must be uh, replicas, I would imagine. Let me see here, it says, Eternity, painted terracotta statues of heavenly guardian sleeping muse, used in China. 2016. So these are obviously not the same ones that you'll find inside of one of the provinces of China that actually has the terracotta warriors, but they are very unique. I'm not really even sure what they're holding. Oh, this looks like a, like a face, like a head. That's kind of interesting. And then uh, one of the things here is the east entrance is where the shuttle bus comes in from. So if you're taking the shuttle bus into Wind Palace from either the border gate or the ferry terminal, it'll drop you off here and then you'll find your way through the casino. Here, what is this? Uh, this is like the duty-free um, area of the retail here at Wind Palace. And then we're coming up to this other restaurant called Buns and Bubbles. Now this is like uh, boba tea and coffee and they have a lot of like snacks that you can get here, donuts, egg tarts, sandwiches, parfaits, a lot of local bread that you get here. Very good. So we're, now we're making our way back around, um, going back to the south entrance because as I may have mentioned, a lot of casinos have the actual casino area in the center. So you can see that I'm actually walking around the perimeter. I'm not cutting through because I would need to cut through the casino area to show you guys what is going on uh, on the inside. And there's no photography allowed on the inside of the casino because I'd love to be able to take you guys inside of this like Red 8 restaurant, but I'm not really able to do that because Red 8 is actually physically located inside of the casino floor. So I wouldn't be able to walk you guys in there. I'd have to maybe turn off the camera and then go inside of Red 8 and then, then start recording. But uh, we're not gonna do that today. I'm just showing you guys, you know, sort of the really beautiful aspects of Wind Palace. And one of the other places that I'm gonna show you uh, in another video is actually Wind Macau. Because Wind Macau has some really beautiful things to show as well. But since I was actually here to open up Wind Palace since 2015, now, I really wanted to show you guys this. And I had been kind of holding off showing you guys this casino because I work here and I felt like, um, 
Uh, in a way, I felt like I couldn't make the video while I was still an employee of Wynn. So now that I'm no longer an employee, I'm here showing you guys all the best parts and giving you guys a little bit of the history. Since uh, this month is the fifth anniversary since it opened in August of 2016, which I was here for that opening. And it was madness, let me tell you. It was an unbelievable experience, both in the positive and sometimes in the negative, just because of the sheer amount of work required to open something uh, of this level. It was really unbelievable. So now we're coming up to um, the Art Macau exhibits. So here we have the Wynn Art Center. Now this has actually changed, but I wanna give you guys a little bit of insight of what's going on inside. It looks to be more artwork surrounding like ceramics, but I really like these very wind decorated uh, butterflies and hot air balloons that they have here. So I just wanna give you a quick view of that. Uh, I think they changed this, this art center uh, quite frequently, so there might be more and more to see. All right, so now we are back at the south entrance where we effectively started. But I'm gonna leave you guys here I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I really enjoyed telling you the unique things about this property and all the really interesting things that they were. Aside from just being very, very beautiful and very high end, I think there's a uniqueness about it. Maybe I'm biased because I was actually here to open it. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.